Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In today's video, I will show you how to do a post hoc test for Fredman's uh, ANOVA in SPSS. I have uploaded a video clip showing how to perform Fredman's ANOVA test. It's on my channel. Just briefly, Friedman's ANOVA test compares three related samples or groups that have same subject, i.e. the samples are uh, related. Friedman's ANOVA calculates overall statistical significance for all groups together and not as pairs. So in general, if you have three or four or five or six groups or more, and you want to see if there is a differences between these groups, statistical differences, and these data are non-parametric uh, and not normally distributed, uh, you can use the Friedman ANOVA test, and the test will give you only overall uh, significance. Uh, and it does not compare between two samples or two groups to find out if there is significant to between between them or not. To do that, we use something called post hoc test. The test is used in order to decide which two groups are significantly different from each other. I will show you step by step uh, in uh, SPSS how to do that. Here I have, I have a data from a, a, a company that has introduced a drug to want to, to test the effect of the drug on an individual uh, in, uh, in a period of time from two weeks to four weeks and to follow that by looking at the body weight of an individual. So a drug designed to uh, supposedly reduce the body weight. So in this study, we have 10 cases, 10 participants, and every one of them participated in all the measurements. At the zero point or at the beginning of the uh, test or a trial of uh, this drug, the weight for all the individual has been measured and taken. And then after taking the drug for two weeks, their body weight were, was, were remeasured again, and after four weeks, the body weight was, uh, weights for all of them were determined. These data, as we can see, the sample size is too small, 10 samples, and these, each individual participated in all the other measurements, so they are related, the variable here is are related, and these data in each group is not uh, normally distributed so thus if we want to find if there is a significant difference between um, taking a drug for two weeks or four weeks on the body weight the best way to do it is to do Friedman ANOVA test and to do that we click on analyze scroll down to non-parametric test then scroll again to legacy dialogue and then scroll to the K related samples here another windows appear we need to select the um, control weeks two and weeks four weeks four and transfer them into the test variable to test for several related samples and as we can see here we keep this Fred man on click the uh, icon clicked on if we click on exact will a window will come pop up uh, we'll just leave it as it is and click on continue statistics I will uh, pick up and click on descriptive and then I will click on continue and then hit the button for OK space is generate an output showing you that there are 10 cases and three groups and uh, space is Fredman and took, uh, took the data for each group actual data and rank them and then give you give the mean rank for each group again uh, these data show that there is a significant differences between all the three groups but again it's an overall significant but doesn't specify 
what is if there is a significance between control and weeks two or control and weeks four and the way to do that is as i said in a previous uh, video you can do it through wilcoxon sign rank test or post hoc here i will show you how to do post hoc test so again we click on analyze we uh, scroll down to non-parametric and then scroll down again to click on that uh, test which is called related samples if you double click on that a window will come up it's asking you what is your objective i say click on i just want to customize the analysis then go and click choose the field again these are the three uh, field that I want to choose and I want to test so I will transfer them to the right box and then I will so click on the setting and in this setting in this window I will also select customize test I will scroll down here and click on Friedman ANOVA by ranks okay samples and all giving you out all by pairwise pairwise and then click on run a box will appear showing that there is a significant difference between the three samples and it's really uh, put in hypothesis and it says that there are significant at less than 0.05 if you double click on this table get another window here next to it showing uh, the control the week two and week three if we scroll down uh, to uh, to here and uh, click on pairwise comparison another table will uh, appear and this table really is showing the comparison between control and week two control and week four con week two and week four again uh, these uh, as we can see here uh, with this post hoc test it shows that there is no significant difference between control and week two However, because the p-value is equal to 1. However, there is a significant uh, difference between control and week 4. So, um, and there is also some significant difference uh, between, also significant difference between week 2 and week 4 as the p-value is less than 0.05. This is the way to do post hoc tests and to calculate the p-value 